hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the login page login api call and save user and save token methods in our storage service in today's video we will add more methods like get token get user get user id and more in the storage service and we will create different navigation bars for different user roles in our app component at the end we will create dashboards for our admin and customer and we will redirect the user after login by checking the role of the user to the specific dashboard so let's get started so after this uh, save user method we need to write another static get token method that will return a string and in this method we will return local storage dot get item and here we will pass the token so this method will get the token from our local storage and return as string after this let's create a method to get the user and in this method we will return local storage dot get item and here we will pass our user before returning this user we need to pass this one and we can use json dot parse after this get user method we need to write the method to get the user id and in this method first of all we will create a constant user and we will set the value in this user by calling the method this dot get user after this we need to check this user if it is equal to null then we will return an empty string if our user is not null then we will return user dot user id after this we need to write the method to get the user role so we can copy the existing get user id method and first of all we need to update the name of the method so we can write here get user role instead of get user id and in the return statement instead of user id we can return just user dot role after this we need to write a method to check if our logged in user is admin or not and this method will return a boolean and in this method first of all we need to check if we have a token or not for that we can use get token method and here we need to check if it is equals to null then we will return false and if our token is not null then we can create a constant variable here with the name of role and the type of this variable should be string and this should be equal to this dot get user role we got our role here and at the end we will return by checking if the role is equal is equals to admin this will check the role and if the role is equals to admin then it will return true otherwise it will return false after this we need to check that if the logged in user is customer and for that we can copy this method and we can update the method name to is customer logged in and in the return statement instead of checking the role is equals to admin we need to check the role if it is equal to customer and after this we need to write the last method for this user storage service which is sign out method and in this method we will call our local storage and we will remove item and we can give key as token after this we need to duplicate this method and this time we need to remove the token as well so we can pass the key as user 
that's it for this user storage service now let's save this file and let's write the toolbar code in our app.component.html before uh, writing the html code let's create two boolean variables here to check if the logged in user is customer or admin so first of all we can create the variable as is customer logged in and the type of this variable should be boolean and we can set the value in this variable by calling user storage service dot is customer logged in now let's duplicate this line and instead of is customer logged in we can name the variable as is admin logged in and let's update the method to is admin logged in as well after this uh, let's create the constructor and in this constructor we need to inject our router now let's create the ng on init method and in this method we need to subscribe the router events so we can check whenever the route gets changed we need to update these variables and here we can just update the value of is customer logged in by calling again user storage service dot is customer logged in let's duplicate this and update the is admin logged in variable as well and at the end we need to write the method to sign out the user and in this method we can call the user storage service dot sign out and at the end we need to redirect the user to the login page by using the method navigate by url that's it for this app.component.ts let's save this file and here in this app.component.html let's wrap this mat toolbar inside a div and in this step we need to write the ng if condition and in this if condition we will check our variables inside app.component.ts and we will check if the customer is not logged in and the admin is not logged in then only we will show this navigation bar after this uh, let's duplicate this div and here we will check if the admin user is logged in then we will show this div let's duplicate this toolbar again and this time we need to check if the customer is logged in then we will show this div now let's update the buttons for is admin logged in and we can replace these buttons with uh, the dashboard component and we can give the url as slash admin slash dashboard for the router link of the admin dashboard after the dashboard we need to give the buttons for our analytics and category page and for analytics we are giving the router link as admin slash analytics and for category we are giving admin slash category we don't have these components right now but we will create them down the line after this we need to give the buttons for products page for orders page for coupons page and at the end we need to give the button for logout and on the click of this button i am calling a logout method inside our app.component.ts after this let's update this is customer logged in div and instead of these buttons we will give the buttons for dashboard cart orders wish list profile and logout now let's uh, save this app.component.html after this uh, let's go to login.component.ts and uh, here in the case of success we will redirect the user according to its role so we can replace this snack bar by an if condition and in this if condition first of all we will call our user storage service and we will call the method is admin logged in and if this method returns true then we will redirect the user to admin dashboard by using navigate by url method and in the url we will pass admin slash dashboard 
after this we will write else statement here and in this statement we will again call user storage service dot is customer logged in and if this method returns true we will redirect the user to customer slash dashboard now let's save this file and let's create the dashboards for admin and customer to create the dashboard component for the admin we can go to the admin module and here we need to create a new folder and the folder name should be components and let's open this component folder in a new integrated terminal and in this integrated terminal we can write the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and the component name should be dashboard after the admin dashboard component let's repeat the same thing for the customer so inside customer module we will create a new folder and we will name this folder as components and now we will open this component in new integrated terminal and we will write the command to create the new dashboard component which is ng g for generate c for component and the component name is dashboard and after this let's go to admin routing dot module dot ts and let's mention the path for our dashboard component of admin so we can uh, duplicate this line and in the path we need to pass the dashboard and for the component we can write here dashboard and here we need to choose the dashboard which is in admin module which is the first one in this case let's save this file now let's go to the customer routing module.ts and repeat the same thing and here we need to choose the dashboard component which is inside the components but not inside the admin slash components let's uh, save this file as well and as you can see our application compiled successfully without any errors now let's go to the browser and validate the functionality on the login page let's write the email for our admin and password and let's click on this login button as you can see upon login the navbar got updated and now we can see the pages for admin and we got redirected to admin slash dashboard now let's click on logout button and as you can see we got redirected to the login page now let's write the email for our customer which is test at the rate gmail.com let's uh, write the password as well and click on login button and as you can see we got redirected to customer slash dashboard and we can see a new nav bar which is for customer that's it uh, for this video in the next video we will create the entities for category and product in the backend.